Hey, Miles Beckler here. In this video, we're going to look at how to quickly create a split test inside of ClickFunnels. Um, now, really, honestly, this is one of the biggest things in ClickFunnels that makes it so, so valuable for you and your business is the ability to quickly implement and put together these split tests without having to do any of the Google experiment stuff, without having to go into analytics and set up all of the kind of BS that you have to manually on like a WordPress site or any other kind of um, website content management system. So without further ado, let's actually jump right in. I'm going to move myself out of the way. And here we are. This is inside of my ClickFunnels dashboard. Um, in a previous video, I've gone ahead and set up this kind of demo site here, the Diabetes Cure. Um, if you haven't seen those, go look at my past Funnels playlist. You can see where this came from and you can watch me build this out in real time. So since I've already built this out, what we're going to do is we're just going to set up a quick split test here. So you can see on this is the opt-in step that I'm in right here. You can see that on the left and you can see the one that I have. This is my control. This is the main one that I first created. It's a, just a simple pre-head, headline, subhead, call to action. So all I need to do is click create variation. Now this is the first decision that you have to make inside of ClickFunnels. The question is, am I going to test a new template, which would be a totally different look, or am I going to test the copy? Personally, I like to test the copy first. I'm I like to test what screams, not what whispers. And to me, headline is 99% of the time what I'm going to be split testing is trying to find that headline that compels them to take action. If you do want to split test layouts by testing a new template, be sure you copy down all of your copy from your current active um, sales page or opt-in page and use the exact same content because you want this to be a real true A-B split test which means that you're changing one variant on the page which in this one would be changing the actual layout but for me the one variant I'm going to change is going to be the actual headline itself. So I clicked on that to create a new variation based on my current one and you can see we've gone back to this kind of dashboard inside of this funnel. And we've got the little spinning box here. And the spinning box it is just essentially duplicating this page over to here. And you can see they look exactly the same. And now I go in and edit the page. And give it one second to load here. And it loads their editor for us. And this is the page, right? So this is version two. And what I want to do is I would choose only one thing to change. I don't want to change the text here and the text here because that therefore becomes an ineffective or an unscientific test. Because if I get a bump, what created the bump? Was it this text change or this text change? So personally, I always start in the main headline. And what I'm going to do here is, or another way we could do it is, um, like I could theoretically take this out and just add free video reveals. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this section out and instead of discover, I'm going to type free video reveals. I totally just did an unscientific split test. Hey, Miles Beckler here. In this video, we're going to quickly and easily set up an A-B split test inside of ClickFunnels. You know, this is one of the kind of main components that makes ClickFunnels so valuable to you as a marketer and as an online business owner is being able to quickly and effectively test what copy, what layout, what offer, what actually gets your audience to take action. Um, and then obviously we do more of that. So let's jump right in and go ahead and get myself out of the way. So here I am inside of the ClickFunnels dashboard. If you don't have a ClickFunnels account, click the link below in the description and grab your free 14 day trial and just give it a shot. Build your first funnel. I've got examples of how to do that on another channel, on this channel, on another video. I'm going into this diabetes cure, um, funnel that I've built earlier and we're working on the opt in page. I uh, built this in a separate video, so you can check that out in the funnel playlist. And here is the opt-in page that we've created. And right here to the right, we've got this create variation button. And this presents us with the first 
option. We can either create from a fresh template, meaning that we would want to test the layout, but I like to create a duplicate and simply test the headline because to me nine times out of ten the headline is where I'm really going to get that impact to get my audience to take action it's not so much the template if you do split test the template go ahead and be sure to copy all of the exact content from the original one and use that same content therefore you don't want any content changes when you're doing a layout test for now I'm clicking the create duplicate page from opt-in and what ClickFunnels does is it creates a new variation. Now it's got a little spinny wheel here, but I'm just going to click Edit Page. Oh, there it goes. You can see it. It popped up an exact duplicate, and I click Edit Page, and this is going to bring me into the editor where I can actually edit this page. Now again, a, a, for a scientific split test, an A-B split test, we can only change one variable. So we either change this we change this or we change this. We don't change all three of them. We don't start eliminating things. We want to change one item and then we run about, theoretically, I want to run about a thousand clicks. I'd like to see at least 300 to 500 opt-ins to get a real true number to know if this test worked. Um, so let me see real quick. Um, so I'm going to take this, learn the secret to reverse your type 2 diabetes fast. So that's it. I'm literally changing those words on the beginning and I'm going to click save, which you can't see. It's off your screen. Sorry about that. Um, on my right nav. And effectively what I've done here is I've created a new page that essentially it's still tied into the same autoresponder. Everything we set up in the previous video on this funnel is still fully functional. Now let me go back to my dashboard real quick so you can see this. And here in the dashboard, you can see it's going to load variation one. I've got the main, which is the first one I set up, and now I've got variation one. And you can see there's a very simple text difference, and that's the only difference that we've made. And that's because I need to know which headline out pulls the other. And when I find this out, I use that same kind of content on the sales page. Now what ClickFunnels is going to do, and this is where the beauty is, I simply have to run traffic to this page right here or to this URL excuse me and what ClickFunnels does is it splits up the visitors between the main and the variation and so if I send a hundred visitors to this link here 50 or so will make it to the main and 50 or so will make it to the first variation and then you can see below it tracks how many visitors and it tracks what the conversion is for each of these so what we want to do is we want to wait until we see approximately 250 to 500 contacts going through each of these and then and only then are we going to choose which one actually was our winner and you just kind of hover over which one to declare as the winner um, but you want to make sure again you have a high number of visitors I like to see a thousand visitors going through the funnel I like to see 300 to 500 um, contacts, which means essentially conversions. Uh, what that does is it really shows that um, there's a statistical probability. It comes down to the fact that when you're early on a split test, your numbers will change very quickly, but the longer you let a split test run, you're going to get more consistent numbers. I also like to test at least seven days, so I have one of every day of the week, so I don't have something goofy like um, it's voting week in the U.S., right? So like no one's going to be, or very few people would be opting in because they're all busy with work and then voting. So you want to make sure you have seven days. Sometimes I run tests for 14 days just to be sure that I get enough data and my data is a good enough sample size that I can rely on it because one of the biggest mistakes in split tests are making decisions and declaring winners too early on not enough data um, that can be harmful but really this is the magic behind uh, click funnels I recommend doing one split test at a time I recommend running again through about a thousand visitors and you should see somewhere around 500 subscribers go through that and at that point declare your winner take what you learned create a new test and bring what you've learned into the other aspects of your funnel. And that's it. Again, if you haven't tried ClickFunnels, get the free 14-day trial below. The link is in the description. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you here. Uh, go ahead and click subscribe. I'm Miles Beckler. And thank you very much for your time.